Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to download and install Kali MS 2.0 in VMware Workstation or Virtual Machine. So let's begin. First of all, open your favorite browser and go to www.kali.org, the official website of Kali Linux. Then uh, go to Downloads tab and click Download Kali Linux here. And then this um, uh, page will be appear in your desktop. Then choose your desired uh, version of Kali Linux like 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. Uh, this is the direct link for downloading the Kali Linux or you can choose torrent as per your um, requirement or choice. Okay. So I am going to choose Kali Linux 32-bit direct link because I am using Internet Download Manager and it is quite fast. Okay, so just to wait for a while. Okay, so here it is, and simply click Start Download, and the download will be start. Okay, I have already downloaded this software. Uh, sorry, this operating system. So I do not need to download this once again. So I'm going to pause it and going to close this download okay and i'm going to close this website also because we have done with this simply close this let me show you this is the linux 2.0 which i have downloaded uh, some time ago okay now come to the installation part first of all open your vmware workstation or virtual machine whatever you are using in your operating system or in your your system okay then uh, go to file click new virtual machine choose typical click next and you choose installer disk image file iso then click browse and choose your iso file kalinux 2.0 iso file let me select this and click uh, open and then click next now choose linux and click this arrow uh, click this arrow for choosing your version and then i'm going to choose your debian 6 okay then click next now you can rename this as i'm going to rename it kali linux okay you can change your path like i have created a separate folder for uh, kalinux so i'm going to choose this kalinux 2.0 this is actually where you want to save your installation file so choose as per your disk space then click next and then choose uh, then choose your uh, the disk size uh, it may be it should be minimum 15 GB or maximum 25 or 50 or whatever you can choose okay but it should be minimum 15 GB I think 15 GB okay but uh, I will go with the, the default 20 GB okay choose this second option split virtual disk into multiple files okay then click next button now click here customize hardware by clicking here you can customize your virtual hardware like i am going to increase my ram to 1 gb okay then i am going to close this then click finish okay if it doesn't auto automatically restarts then uh, you have to click here power on this virtual machine by clicking here okay wait for a while okay now press down arrow from the keyboard and uh, select graphical install and hit enter okay wait for a while okay so choose your 
language you can only choose your english then click continue choose your location and we choose india then click continue choose your uh, keyboard language i'm going to choose your just leave it as a default american english then click continue and then uh, uh, on the loading additional component it will take some time so i'm going to pause this video for a while okay okay so now you're here with the host name so, so right here you here your host name uh, you can write anything i think uh, i'm going to write here okay, so okay then click continue click continue and leave it to blank click continue again and then you can write here your password then click continue okay this time I'm going to choose guided use entire disk okay but uh, if you're planning if you're actually we will discuss it on in another video where I will uh, show you how to install Kali Linux with dual, board, dual boot with Windows 10 or maybe 7 or 8.1 okay so for now choose guided use entire disk because we are inst uh, installing uh, Linux 2.0 in virtual machine so choose this first option guided use entire disk okay then click on continue button then uh, again click continue you can see here your disk space like 21.5 GB okay so click again continue and uh, then uh, again click uh, continue then again continue here it is asking write the change to disk like if you continue the change will be stayed below will be written blah 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 simply click yes and continue Okay, so the installation has been started. Now it will take some time, so I'm going to pause this video once again and I will be back soon. Okay, so we have almost finished uh, the setup file. Sorry, the setup uh, the installation and uh, left with this uh, window okay so simply choose here no then click continue okay then uh, wait for a while i think Okay, I think it will also take some time, so I'm going to okay, 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 let's do it. It is quite fast. Okay, ten by ten. Okay, I will come back when it will finish. Okay, so this time I will pause this video once again.
okay so click yes install the group bootloader the master will record click yes and uh, click on continue okay and this is uh, you need to make a new installation system bootable by blah 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 that's good for good uh, simply select this SDA and click continue finishing the installation Okay, again I'm going to pause this video okay then uh, uh, installation complete as you can see here so click continue and uh, wait for a while Okay guys, so I am left with this screen, the installation has been completed and uh, now you have to put username okay, I am going to write here geeky source and click next then password then sign in and sorry that didn't work please try again so this is why happening because you need to log in with root okay Try once again writing uh, a root, sign in, then password should be tour t double o r. Okay, so here it is and now it is click here for enter to full screen mode and now you can see here the applications all applications wow it's really very It's looking awesome isn't it okay guys so this is how you can download and install Kali Linux I'm going to shut it down okay and remember that you have to log in with root not with any other username okay just I have um, told you previously okay so log in with root and your password will be T double O R two okay root and two okay and after logging in with root access you can create username like geeky source and other name like your own name or other then uh, uh, after that you can uh, log in with any other username okay so don't worry I will show you this that how you can add new user in Linux in the upcoming videos 
okay so I'm just going to shut it down and uh, uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe my channel